Hello everyone. Um, today's video, I'm going to replace this plate right here. This um, this is a uh, fuel injector plate um, cover um, cover plate. Um, the reason I'm replacing because this screw, when I try to tie this screw right here or this bolt right here, and the whole thing's turned. So the whole thing's turned. So it's leaking heavily down here around here. So I just put some uh, epoxy glue to it just to stop from leaking. So today I got a new plate, so I'm gonna replace the whole plate right here. And um, uh, something to note is that uh, when you try, when, when I try to uh, tighten this um, bolt right here, and the whole thing turned, so uh, my fuel line here was broken too. So that's why I had to put some um, glue on it here too. So today, um, before I um, change this thing, I want to make sure I turn off the um, fuel line, uh, turn off the fuel valve to shut off the fuel from flowing to um, the injector. So to um, to close it, you have to turn um, clockwise. Right now, it's in an off position right now. So I just turn this thing off, shut up the valve to shut up the fuel from flowing to the injector. And then the next thing I want to do, I'm gonna uh, loosen this um, bolt right here, or this nut right here, so I can uh, make sure um, that fuel line does not turn and break right here, like what I did last time. So that's what I'm going to do now, okay? Stay tuned for more to come. To uh, remove this uh, field line, so that when I turn this uh, bolt right here, this thing does not turn, so that I don't go through the same problem breaking this uh, field line right here. So, turn it counterclockwise. Make sure I have some thing down here to. get the fuel on on the bucket or something okay still the next thing is to uh, remove this thing off this thing right here so i'm gonna get some new tools okay so i have to do this thing use the wise uh to uh, hold this piece right here before you turn this thing around Again. There you go. Yeah, you will have to be very careful, otherwise you're gonna break this screw here or the um, bolt down here. So make sure I got two things slightly turn. To lose the um, bolt or screw, make sure you save it in a safe place. And same thing on the bottom one. Okay, and that's how to get. Oh, there's a lot of fuel coming out of here. Okay, so that's how I got things out of here. So this is the old one, and I'm going to put a new one in. As you can tell, this thing, this thing right here is keep turning like that. So that's why it's not good anymore. This this piece right here is not supposed to be turning. So you see this thing? It's turning like that. So what happened is that uh, when this thing turning, um, I I lose I got something loose down here. So that's why the fuel is uh, 
slowing down here so bad or leaking from here so bad so I make sure I go ahead to make them tight okay so let's get a new part and let's find out see what's going on okay um, I got a new part right here and this is the new one this is how it looks like compare compare to the old one so um, so it looks to comparing to the old one so let's see if this thing work or not I have to find out okay this is the new gate gate that that can be the new part so I'm gonna put the new gate gate in okay let me go this way Okay, and let's see this is how this is supposed to go. I'm gonna put a new screw on, and then gotta put a screw back on. I'm gonna get it in the right place. Oop. Make sure that it gets get in place. I'm gently tight at first. Uh, don't, don't make it too tight. Otherwise, you're gonna break this screw or bolt and you will be in trouble. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, and this is how things supposed to go inside and I'll go in there. So let's find out. Okay, so make sure you're tight. Still back up. That should be enough. Now let's uh, tie this uh, line, fill line back on. Okay. Uh, the right to to uh, tie this thing um, is number 15. Yeah, number 15. I don't know if I uh, got sideways or whatever. Number 15, okay. Number 15, number 15. Just try to tie it back on. Don't go too tight, otherwise uh, it will break. Okay, now um, 
got everything tied back on. So it's time to uh, turn on the uh, gas valve to let the fuel uh, flow through this again. So let's see how it, it is, is. Just want to check to see if it is leaking or not. So turn counterclockwise, counterclockwise to turn on the uh, fuel and to shut up the fuel, turn uh, clockwise direction. One, two, three. And now uh, uh, it's time to um, breed the screw. So that's the screw that needs to be breed. I'm going to uh, turn this screw, losing this screw right here. Make sure, like I said, be careful. Don't break things. Yeah, as you can tell, there's a few flowing through here. Okay, make sure you let all the bubbles goes out first. That way, it did not create some uh, pressure uh, pressure into the system. So when you start the engine, it'll start right up. Uh, oftentimes, when you work on the fuel line or work on the fuel or whatever, then you need to breed um, um, on the injector to get all the bubbles out first. So let's make sure that I turn on the engine for a bit to uh, get all the bubbles out. Fuel pump fill with um, some more uh, fuel or diesel. Okay. That's much better. Yeah, uh, try one more time. Okay, that sounds like. Um, I got all the bubble out, so I'm gonna put this breathing 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 screw back on. Come on. Also, uh, you probably uh, need to uh, breed um, this um, filter breeding screw also to uh, to breed uh, the air out. Here is right here. Try number four. Right, okay. so I breathe um, fill out of the uh, filter. Okay. Make sure I got fill out flowing out of the fil filter. Okay, and then I tied it back on. It's, uh, I finally uh, can tie this screw back on. So I'm gonna make sure I turn the fuel line back on. So I make sure that no more bubbles coming out of this. So now I'm gonna shut this thing off. Tie this thing back on.
Okay, now it's time to uh, um, breed uh, the fuel injector. So what I'm going to do, I'm not sure I have something to prevent this from falling down. And I'm going to lose this screw right here to uh, take the battery out of the place. Slide the battery this way. Okay. Okay. Slide the battery out. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to lose uh, this um, bolt right here so I can get uh, the air out of the um, injector um, right here from the field uh, system down here. Um, the tools I'm going to use for this job is the 58. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm losing this. Um, right here, injector here to get the airflow out of here. So, okay, there you go. And then I can crank the engine to make sure I got some bubble out of here. Got any uh, thing coming out of here? Let's look at it. Okay, so I'm gonna put this thing back in. I'm gonna do on the next one. Make sure I tie it back on. And I'm gonna do the next one, which is the one further to the uh, <coughs> left. This is right here. Yeah, that's too tight. This is how you open it. Okay. Same thing. If me, I have any more bubble out of here. Let's get it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let's tie it back on. Let's do the same thing on this one right here. Sounds like we're going to get it. Let, let's spray something on uh, the uh, uh, starting fluid on to the um, air intake uh, and see if we can stop the cup or not. To spray. Oh, 
today after I bred uh, the tractor, the injector several times and uh, fully charged the battery. I was able to uh, start the tractor and uh, it's running right now. So when working with the fuel pump or, or the injector, sometimes it's very difficult to uh, make it to stop again after you replacing the fuel line or working with the injector. So I'm not recommending for anybody to replace something on the injector unless it is badly leaking or something like that. So uh, based on my experience, I always had issue starting the tractor after repairing the uh, injector or, or fixing the fuel line. So. Just for your friend, friends, um, always fully charge your battery also. So once you keep trying and trying, your battery get weak, and it won't be able to start until you have to fully uh, charge the battery to uh, its normal state. So that's what I did. So after a few hours later, I was able to get it to work again. So I'm so happy that this tractor was running and starting okay. So thank you for watching and hope to see you on the next video if I have any more to come. So thank you and you guys have a good day. Bye bye.